Hello and a warm welcome to Selhurst Park on what is a very pleasant night for football, I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Thanks Derek, well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Zaha and Edouard with it, terrific block. Over the touchline for a throw in. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfried Zaha, quite simply, you've got to be on your toes. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball... Oh, they or could finish here, Stuart! And into the net from Gabriel Jesus! Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Granit Xhaka. Alexander Zinchenko. Precise ball movement. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. And the ball's gone. Gabriel Jesus. Jacka with it. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. Marcinelli. Here's Gabriel Jesus. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Well, they fancy a short one. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Useful looking ball. Oh, great vision. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. And over comes the corner. Oh, a smart stop. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Can he play it in? White. 
It's with Erdogan. Sloppy in possession from Arsenal. Ezzy. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. wrong with the idea on the free kick but the goalkeeper has it so almost at the break here and not quite going to plan for the home side work to do Stuart well they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far it's all been a bit too predictable but in the second half if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity they can certainly turn this around and a goal there he is at the double they just can't subdue him Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, a second goal for them here. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Crisp tackling. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the ball is running again. Palace left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Well, they could run onto it here. Zaha. And looking towards the back post. Not the best clearance. Well read to ease the pressure. And the keeper, there's to deal with it. Well, they get the ball once more. Gabriel Jesus. Martin Odegaard. And a good-looking ball. Oh, what an opportunity! Brilliant, crisp and clean tackle. Can they survive? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Gabriel Jesus. Marcinelli and a textbook interception. And into the last 30 minutes now. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Hudson Edouard. Sheikh Ducouré. Are you? Making sure nothing came of it. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here.
electing to cross into the centre it comes to absolutely nothing Alexander Zinchenko and here's Saliba well keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them breaking at pace a quarter of an hour remaining here an attack full of promise and whipped into the box and up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack Martin Odegaard real chance there's the goal surely now that is that well let's look at this again the one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure while the movement in the box is equal to it it's such good timing. What a goal. Three goals without reply. Jesus. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Marcinelli. He has time to play it over. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Error by the keeper. Might give them a chance. Xhaka. On to Jesus. Odson Edouard. Jordan, are you here? There will be one minute added on at the end. And that brings this game to an end. A day of frustration for Crystal Palace, all things considered. Three points dropped. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. And it was an eye-catching performance, you've got to say, from Gabriel Jesus. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.